Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and all good things have to come to an end. We're leaving Swaziland. I had a freaking blast in Swaziland. But for now, let's keep this adventure going. Let's go off to the next place. We're going back to South Africa. We're going near Kruger Park and that's pretty much what I got going now. So yo, let's get this video started. This is shuttle bus, shuttle van number two off to the South African border. the shuttle van now it's time to get passport stamped on the Swazi side and then walk over get the passport stamped again on the South African side and continue traveling <laughs> all right check out this little restaurant I see I see tourists <laughs> it's a cultural really makes me like oh really mm -hmm. see those dresses you saw same thing Huh. Right. Oh, check out those cool Swaziland shirts. Oh yeah, it's like a, a full restaurant here. With a small stream. Can you see this one? Oh, a little stream. Refreshing place. Look at that. This is really cool looking. Check it out. <laughs> We're back on the South African side and my cell phone works because I have a South African SIM card and we're back in South Africa. So back online, back online. It, I must admit, it smells really funny out here. I can't, I've never smelled this smell before. It smells like maybe an animal or something, but I've smelled it for the past, I don't know, hour or so. I, I, I cannot exactly tell you what it smells like, but it's really, really, really weird. Yeah, something along those lines. Now this is a sign you don't see every day. God bless Africa supermarket. Yep, I've seen it all, literally. Um, we gotta figure out how to get to where we're going because we don't exactly have a, a ride so we're at the border still at the Swazi South African border trying to figure out how to go about about 30 miles sorry if you're watching this from another country I don't know exactly what 30 miles is in kilometers but come on tell me you gotta love it we're at the border crossing and there's a cow crossing the road 
How cool is that, yo? <laughs> the cows just do whatever they want. They've got some chickens, too. <laughs> this is what's up, yo. <laughs> this is Africa, man. <laughs> Looks like we found a ride. This is shuttle van taxi number, I think seven. I, I've lost track. <laughs> it's like every few minutes we get off and get on another one. Oh. What is she selling? But a bag of bananas and others. This is turning into a very, very, very long day. I'm the last one in the van. <laughs> I'll get that set. Oh my gosh, okay. What's going on now is this guy clearly has the directions, but he doesn't want to drive me there. So he's trying to get out of not driving me. So he stopped next to those people. How do you get here? And how do you get there? You just go right out of here make a right you go down the road and you make another right and that's where I go and I'm trying to tell him that and he speaks really good English but it's not working out for him now he's asking these other people they're probably gonna tell him the same exact thing that I told him and probably the same exact thing that the other people told him let's see what he says now I'm just I'm just over this day it's a long travel day okay I'm officially lost in a foreign country that guy just dropped me off on the side of the road here and told me to wait over here next to this sister. And we like, I guess, flag down the next shuttle van that's going that way. I only have about 70 Rand left. I haven't went to an ATM. So hopefully I have enough to get there. The thing is, the place where I'm going, it looks like they're gonna drop me off on the side of the road again and I'm gonna have to walk like in the dark because it's about to be dark. What, what, what an adventure. What an adventure. I, I understand why a lot of you guys never leave the U.S. now. Makes total sense. Look at that beautiful sunset over there. Officially lost in a foreign country, yo. Hopefully I get there. Problem. So I've been standing here for like 15 minutes. Every single van that's coming up this way is turning that way. So I'm not going to freak out. I'm just going to move on to plan B. Plan B is to camp somewhere around here. Look, I got plenty of clothes in my backpack. I have no food. I have just a little bit of water. Hopefully we won't have to do plan B. Hopefully we can get to this place that I paid for for the night. But I really don't know. I have to come up with some sort of plan B to keep myself um, normal right now. This is, um, this is a very um, different situation. Very different situation to be in right now. And looks like it would take me about 6 hours and 41 minutes to walk there, which is 33 kilometers? Holy cow, that's a long way. 